Okay. Let's do this! Millie selects the random fighter. The box goes through a roulette of the fighters for Team World of Millie. After a while, the fighter select for King K. Rule pops up. King K. Rule shall be the final fighter for Team World of Millie. Oh god, my watcher voice is getting rusty. K. Rule is transported to the stage, but he's still unconscious. Everyone is weirded out. So am I reading this. Oh, um, here you are. K. Rule is healed. He sees his opponent and is ready to fight. I believe in him, but I don't see me winning this. <laughs> Look, I would love to throw the match, but you heard the big man up there. Yeah, immediate disqualification. Even if we're gonna die, is there no better way to go out than with a little bit of smash? True. I just wish I could have lived to see the day Minecraft Steve could join. This is in the script to one of the most important moments in thy story. Then win. We fight to the end, and if you end up losing, so be it. Devin holds out his hand for that handshake thing in the first part. Yeah, okay. They do the thing. Now then, with all parties assembled, I would like to thank you for coming out today. And with these goodbyes and thanks out of the way, let us begin the likely final battle of the Tournament of Smash. Devin and Millie grip their controllers one last time, and the battle begins. <laughs> this fight and the tournament of smash for team reboost well that's it good game same to you Millie and Devin shake hands Millie Dwayne Devin the watcher and the fighters all appear on the roof of the spectator stands they all reconcile with each other about the time they've had together and of course what's to come Though they do have some nice final moments as seen with the drawings I've drawn right here. This would have been really powerful if we've recorded lines, huh? Wow, we didn't even get to see the bottom half of your team. I must be that bad, huh? Yep, you're all useless! 
The characters on Devin's team that didn't get a chance to shine walk away in shame. Anyway, so what you doing after this? Uh, dying, I guess. Oh. R right. May I have everyone's attention? Everyone looks up at the Watcher. I'm sure you all knew the consequences going into this if Millie's team lost. Universal annihilation. But I won't just end it right here. I have a soul. I will be sending you all back home so you can have your final intimate moments with those you love. The Watcher snaps his fingers, and one by one, the fighters are carried by the Bifrost. Well, see ya. Sooner than you think. The Bifrost carries Devin away. Only Dwayne, Millie, and the Watcher remain. Now then, young one. Shall we begin? Don't do this. But I have to, young one. I gave my word that I would destroy this universe. Which I shall do now. The Watcher raises his hand, which is engulfed in aura. Light fills the dark void. Millie and Dwayne flinch, and the Watcher clenches his fist. Zeh, I destroyed this universe. At least part of it, that is. Wh wait, what? <laughs> Young one, did you really think I would destroy an entire universe over time travel? <laughs> oh, thank Cobb. No, no, no. Us deities time travel all the time. I am so lost. Okay, there's no universal annihilation. I was messing with you. I do this with every creationed vessel. Honestly, if I did destroy your universe, that cosmos would be at my throat. I figured young Devin would have told you for sure, but he did keep his word. Oh. Wait, what about the fighters? Aren't, aren't they scared out of their minds right now? Mm-mm. They weigh in on it too. Huh. Well played. Those consequences were not real. This was planned to be a learning experience from the start. I zoomed this with every creation wielder like I said. Do you remember what I said to you when this all started? Uh, oh, you mean need to prove I'm worth breaking the rules for or something like that. Right. Though I didn't break the rules, this was still a test. To see if you can protect your universe on your own. And clearly, you cannot with those latent abilities. And I'm afraid the consequences will be dire once you find a foe you cannot defeat. Hey, not fair. I'll have you know I beat Sephiroth like twice now, and I think I did just fine. Melly, can you use your evisceration powers at will? Fair point. What I'm getting at is, you cannot protect your universe with your powers. Yet. You know, Kaz has been needing a training power for a while now. She's pretty much mastered solo battle, but she still needs to work well with others. What are you saying? I'm offering to train you myself. You may decline, of course. No universal annihilation this time. But I think my skills will improve you past your limits. Maybe you could even learn... <laughs> Fuck, I just ruined the moment, huh? <clears throat> Maybe you can even master the fusion technique. Uh, yeah, I'm in. I am so tired of almost dying before I can get the win. And it would be nice to not have another... incident with these powers. Great. I will transport your living quarters to the second dimension. You'll keep your live-action form while in there. We will train every Friday. Hey! Well, of course, Rock. You two belong together. I wasn't having it any other way. Now, 
I will transport you back home, where you may finish on the unfinished business. Until we meet again, young one. And now, Millie and Dwayne are transported to the room. Dwayne is put back on the shelf, where Isabel, Inkling, and Kirby are. They are laughing. Millie thinks. Then gets out his phone to call Devin. The phone rings, and the phone rings, until finally he picks up. Yo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I fell for it. Listen, I know we just got done, but... You wanna fight me in Smash? Uh-huh. Good. I'll win this time. The end. This is finally over. Oh my god. Well, before we roll the credits... Let me just say, uh, sorry about this cutscene setup. We could have done better, but I hope you enjoyed this. Can't wait to move on to other things. Now, let's roll the credits with a good callback to how this all started. This is the day we finally find a way